Selves, as we'd well imagine, as winners of the debate last night that included a lot of attacks on each other about policies. I have a feeling that by the end of this evening, I'm going to be blamed for everything that's ever happened. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? I will release my tax returns against my lawyer's wishes when she releases her 33,000 emails that have been deleted. I think you've just seen another example of bait and switch here. You know, blame for everything and why not was actually pretty funny last night. Well, time. we had a chuckle in the newsroom, that's for sure. We did. You probably <laughs> Going did, too. both ways, too. So, Jack Fink was there last night for all the action and just returned from New York, got off the airplane. So, bottom line, what's the, what's the takeaway? Everybody has an opinion today, but of what's course. the takeaway on, uh, on, the, on the unbiased side of things? Well, some pundits gave Trump the victory, but many more, as you know, gave Hillary Clinton the victory. And she went on offense last night, and Trump spent much of his time on defense. The former Secretary of State attacked Trump for his business tactics, for not releasing his tax returns, among other things. While Trump responded, he didn't unload on her as he did with his Republican challengers during the primaries. He coughed up the football on taxes, on birther, on taking advantage of the housing crisis, on Iraq, on temperament, on her stamina. Now let's talk about stamina. This is a guy that clearly was dwindling as the debate went on. I would call that a cheap shot, gutter politics, cesspool type stuff. And I'm very proud of Mr. Trump that he did not respond in kind. Virtue, restraint is a virtue and it's a presidential virtue. Now Trump and Clinton are the least popular candidates running for president ever. And that is what is keeping them in check and perhaps why this race continues to be so close and it's gotten tighter. Well, we know a lot of people were watching last night, but let's talk about the race and whether or not the debates will have any impact on the overall outcome here. Well, we're not going to really know that for the next couple of days because polls are now being conducted. So it's going to take some time right now. But I think the prevailing view from last night, nothing really changed. Uh, for now, the polls in the key battleground states, the ones that matter, are all within five points. Oh, we'll win this. Look at the polls. They're all tightening. We're winning on momentum and we're winning on enthusiasm. Those are two dynamics, very difficult to pull, but you feel them and you see them. The thing I'm most concerned about is turnout, that so-called Obama coalition coming out for numbers. And I think tonight helped because she looks strong. And of course, that's always the key. Whose voters are going to be showing up to the polls? In the meantime, we've got two more presidential debates to look forward to.